on our show before. He is an amazing musician. He'll be gracing the stage of the Regina Quick Center for the Arts here at Fairfield University this Friday. And uh, he's been busy gigging this weekend, and uh, he'll be here Friday. And without further ado, we're going to welcome once again Raul Midon to the Up Room in WVOF. How you doing, Raul? Good. How are you doing? Yeah. How, how was Ohio over the weekend? Good. It was yeah. fun. It was, uh, they have a nice little uh, venue there at the University of Akron. It was fun. Mm-hmm. So you've been uh, celebrating the release of your latest album, which is tremendous, and uh, you can get it. Uh, it's called A World Within a World, and uh, Raumidon, uh, dot com. So the new album's out, and you're touring. Um, t- I know you tour just yourself and your great voice and your great guitar. Uh, tell us about the record and, and working once again with Joe. Um, well, it it was uh, the first time. I mean, it was it wasn't the first time that that I worked with Joe, but I, uh, of course, you know, worked with Arif and Joe on uh, on the previous record, State of Mind, and so I, you know, after Arif left us, I I, I thought it would be appropriate, and also I. I felt comfortable working with Joe so um, it was a record in, in which I tried to explore a little more um, variety and there's a little bit of a, a little more of an R&B touch to this record mm-hmm. um, I don't know I just tried to do the music that I like to do I guess and um, there are some sort of slightly South American influenced things there's <laughs> some things that are a little more R and B, and there's um, just you know tried to get into a little a little more um, I don't know, just songwriting and that kind of thing. Do you do a lot of writing while you're on the road, or you just wait till you get the quiet time back at home? Uh, I, I I write a lot on the road, um, just because I try to write all the time. But I wouldn't say the songs really come on the road really it, um, most of the time I write when I'm at home I guess but if you're if you're a writer you always write and you never know when an idea is going to come to you what it's going to turn into but I tend to write when I have some focused time you know to just sort of follow things through uh, Raul Midon is our special guest and you can go to his various websites R a u l m i d o n dot com. Also, is MySpace page. You can uh, download uh, uh, tunes from iTunes. Of course, you have to pay for them, but they're definitely well worth paying for. the The latest albums uh, we've been playing as soon as we got it. And you're going to be coming here to Fairfield University at the Regina a. Quick Center for the Arts. Um, have, have you ever played around here in Connecticut? Yes, okay. I think so. Yeah, a few times. Uh I think I did uh, some shows as a headliner. I think I opened for, um, oh, various. I I, I might have done a show with Indy RE there. might have done a a show with, uh, uh, who's the... uh, So you you could tell you're definitely a... a, a a musician with a lot of long-term success because so many musicians, the same thing, you know, it's difficult to remember certain shows. Yeah. You know, you know, the particulars. Yeah. You, you have people come up to you and say, Hey, remember you did that show a while back and, you know, try to yeah, and yeah. a lot of the times you <laughs> don't remember it unless there was something that really stuck out or uh, it's, it's, it's difficult. I mean, obviously we do shows all the time and, Mm-hmm. different places i mean there are things you remember but they're just not all always the things that other people remember <laughs> right right uh, i think you're going to lo- love the room here at the quick center uh bela fleck and the fleck tones actually their dvd they recorded it oh that's here. cool yeah so so i think you're going to like it you know it's not a bad seat in the house for our listeners out there to come see raul perform and uh it's, it's just a great you know great sound so i hope you enjoy it yeah i yeah. i uh I'm not sure that I've played that particular venue, but I've definitely played in Connecticut, and I, I, I believe even in Fairfield right. before. Um, uh, people can go to quickcenter.com for more information on tickets. It's this Friday, and uh, you can get tickets now and, and get there and support 
uh, Raul, and we're going to support the new record for Raul, A World Within a World, and uh, we're going to play something called All the Answers. Tell, about, tell us about this. It's got some funk to it. Yeah, this um, is a song that, I guess it's a philosophical song that just kind of came out of thinking about what what's changed about our you know situation today. I mean, it's it's kind of about the the information age mm -hmm. that we live in, and it, it's it's really difficult to underestimate um, what the computer has done to change the way that we live uh, in, in terms of just being information. I mean. You know, money moves at the speed of light now. Right, right. Uh, you know, with the click of a mouse, you can move a million dollars from one place to another. I mean, that's this is part of what has caused you know our our situation right now. It's it's impossible to overstate the revolution that we're living in right now. So it's kind of about that. All right, well said. And here's uh, something from Raúl Midón, and we'll. He said it right there. Y'all remember to vote. So uh, election time coming up, and you got your pulse right and in, in on things. And as a musician, I get. I guess you got a lot of uh, landscape to make your mark on what's going on in the world. Yeah, I mean, I think there's there's uh, certain things that you can do. You know, I, I always make a little remark. I try to make it subtle, uh, but. I, I sort of made it a point to make a little remark in, in right. my shows. Right. I was in Ohio last night, and I yeah. said, I told them I wish I could register to vote here, you know. And I and most of them, I think, got why. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> so you were in Akron, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Raul Midon is with us, our special guest, A World Within a World. You can get the CD, uh, you know, your various stores, and uh, also you can download tracks, uh, iTunes, and and go to myspace.com, Raul Midon, and raulmidon.com, M-I-D-O-N.com. And you're originally from New Mexico and, and lived for quite a while in New York City and now now moved around the, the East Coast. Uh, tell us about, you know, those early days, people don't who, who may not know about you, you getting into music back in uh, New Mexico. What was it like, you know, getting the bug for, for this great thing you do? I think, you know, for me, the... The thing was that I was always into all kinds of music, and I had the fortune of having some really good teachers. Uh, I had um, some really good flamenco teachers as well as uh, classical. So there's a lot of traditions that sort of went into me playing the guitar the way that I play now, and it's kind of a... Um, I, I I was saying to someone last night, they were, you know, how did you learn to play guitar like that? And I do, I, I, I learned a lot of things from all those traditions, and I do things that in any one of those traditions would be considered wrong or incorrect. So uh -huh. it's like you kind of take the, take what you need from, you know, what you're, what, what you're taught and, and then turn it into something that you hear. So, I mean, for me, it was, it's, I guess the big traditions for me were jazz, flamenco, and um, classical. Do you have a, a nickname for your own guitar? No. No, okay. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> You're still a young cat. I you don't got... call it Lucille or anything like that. Right, right. No. Uh, Raul's are going to be at the uh, Regina Quick Center right here at Fairfield University this Friday on the 24th. Um, you've also got some, some dates coming up. Uh, You're busy this fall. Uh, looking at the schedule, Port Washington, New York, just across the water here, landmark on Main Street on the 25th, and then the 30th, uh, Brevard Porter at the Porter Center uh, down in North Carolina, and then you're back up here on the East Coast, uh, NJ Pack in New Jersey on the 1st, and then you're mentioning your, your kind of home spot at Joe's Pub on November 6th. What do you like so much about Joe's Pub to call it that? It was, Joe's Pub was the first place where I felt like when when I moved to New York where I felt like people really you know cared about what I was doing and they sort of took a chance on me you know before I had anything going on that we're going to book you you know once a month here and have you build an audience I mean I, I at the time I had no idea how 
great how fortunate that was for me. I, uh-huh. I just didn't realize. And, you know, what happens when you're in in one place for a while, people know, but not too much, but, but just enough where people kind of know where they can go. And so we, we started having, um, we built a, a kind of a nice audience before we got, you know, sort of record company people to go. So, right. so the the showcases were with real fans mm-hmm. instead of this kind of artificial showcases that you might set up at a rehearsal studio for a record company or something like that. I I, I think it made a difference, you know, to have real fans there and um, people that that were really there to see me and and uh, and just you know I just always felt at home there. Um, just you know. Uh, from every aspect, you know, they, um, sometimes I think for all of us, it gets tough, um, to, to not take things for granted. And sometimes you go to places where they have music a lot and you just kind of feel like people are jaded Mm -hmm. and they're just kind of going through the motions. And I've never felt that at Joe's. Yeah. Great, great spot, a great city. (laughs) And uh, Raul Midon is with us. Uh, we're going to get into, actually, I believe this is the lead-off single from A World Within a World, Pick Somebody Up. Yeah, and I'm going to be do some, doing something kind of new at Joe's. I'm going to be playing with uh, with a band. Oh, okay. So that, that could be something that maybe people want to see what that's all yeah, about. Yeah, so, something different. So you got the members all picked out? Yeah. 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 How, rehearsal's going good? Yeah. 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 All right, we're going to listen to this right now and come back uh, one more time with Raul Midon. And uh, this is called Pick Somebody Up, Really Up. All right, that is our great guest, Mr. Raul Midon from A World Within a World, Pick Somebody Up. And uh, he's going to be joining uh, the great uh, list of performers, and he's great in his own right, Mr. Raul Midon, as he performs here at Fairfield University this Friday, (coughs) October 24th, at the Regina Quick Center for the Arts. And you can go to quickcenter.com for information on how to get tickets to the show and... um, I was I was talking with you uh, off air about Prince and uh, stuff like that. Uh, tell us about I mean you've worked with some of your own idols. You work with Stevie and uh, t- tell us about growing up listening. What what you've been getting in today, other than your own music. Um, you know it's interesting because uh, un- unfortunate or well fortunately or unfortunately, I mean I find myself listening to a lot of older music. Right. <laughs> I mean, um, right now I'm like in, on a Bartok kick, you know. Um, I'm back. I, I just got my studio in my house here. Uh-huh. And I got some really good studio monitors, and I'm listening to records that that I haven't listened to for years, and I'm hearing things that I never heard in them, you know. Wow. And so I'm like, uh, I'm, 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 uh, it, it sounds really weird mm-hmm. for a songwriter, but I'm, I'm like into this Right now, I'm on this Bartok string quartet kick. Right. Um, well, that, that's good rediscovering that. And it just sounds so good, and you know, um, it, it's interesting. You know what's going on. There's so much going on today that um, it's hard to really get your your sort of hands on it. It's kind of all very spread out now. You know. Uh, there's not one place that you can go to find out what's going on, you know. Mm-hmm. There isn't a like a hip radio station or a, that that has everything going on, you know. Or like it used to be that there were places where you would go, you know. Yeah, there were record sure. stores that people would go to, you know. It's not yeah. like that anymore. Yeah, you find one program, you got to make sure you jot it down and know when it's going to be on because yeah. the rest of the stuff you're just not into. Yeah, I mean it's it's very uh, it's it's very different. Mm-hmm. Um, as far as like finding, you know, f- finding music, I guess a lot of it happens. I mean, you can just sort of scan around on MySpace and find something that you like, you know. Right. Yeah, you've got a bunch of stuff, uh, I believe, on YouTube and your own site that people can get into. Um, you know, you know, thinking back, I was thinking back to the time when you performed on uh, Emerald Lagasse's cooking show. Yeah. And he gave you, you know, I, I was watching it with my wife and. We're like, wow, he, g- he gave a lot of time to the musicians. Yeah. That was real nice. That's a very unique situation because they really, he was really um, very into the music and, you know, um, um, 
Doc, uh, what's his name? The percussionist. Yeah, I'm not sure of his last name. I know who you're talking about. Doc He's Gibby. a band leader. Mm-hmm. Um, was was you know the the in the band and and they they really loved it you know they they said that it was a really good place to to work and you know that that he was um you know treated them well and of course there's all that you know food going on it was it was a really fun right. show to do and, and of course you've done conan and, and and you've done leno too right not yeah leno letterman actually i haven't done conan oh okay yeah um, Leno Letterman, I've done Ferguson, right? Um, you know, and then some uh, something. I'm, well, there's one I'm forgetting. Uh, you know, I've done like Fox right. Television and different stuff. Um, one interesting thing, I, I was reading one of your uh, interviews uh, from a little while back. You were talking about uh, kind of the responsibility of an artist. Let's say you have a hit. And then you go to do your concert, and even if you're not really feeling that song anymore, you sometimes have a responsibility to, to give it to the audience. So, I'm paraphrasing there, but yeah, I mean, I you know, it's interesting. I mean, I I haven't um, necessarily been in that position totally where I have a a real hit, although um, it, it did happen in Japan. Um, well, my song "Sitting in the Middle" was actually a hit there. Mm -hmm. Interesting enough, right. but I but I never I never had I was never sick of, I never got sick of the song you know right. I loved playing it and I really enjoyed the fact that people wanted to hear it you know right right uh, I, I've seen it with other artists where they really just they're so over the song and yet you know you you kind of you can't totally diss the audience I mean I, I think it's a you know it's a give and take. But right. I mean, you, you, as an artist, you know, you, you know, you need your audience. I mean, right, right. If you don't have your audience, if you don't sell any tickets and you don't sell any records, then you know. And, and you've you've got a pr pretty core audience. I mean, you got people who just spread the word by by word of mouth and and just rave about all your talent. I mean, um, you know, I, I have to be honest with you. I've I've um, I, I've gotten so much more response in Europe and and in the rest of the world mm -hmm. com compared to here. I'm not sure why that is. I don't know if it's, if it has to do with just the sort of s sorry, size of the U.S. or if it has to do with, I mean, it does have to do with other things too, the, the different labels and everything. But, um, you know, I think... I mean, all you can do as an artist is, is try to do your very best. I mean, you know, I, I always um, I always put everything that's going on aside, you know, when it comes to being on stage, because I know, you know, the people came to see me do the absolute best that I can do. So I, I always have made that that uh, promise to, to my fans and to myself that that... You know, when they see me, it's going to be the absolute best that I can be, no matter what's going on. You know, you're not thinking about the mortgage payment on the new home while you perform, right? right? <laughs> right? Yeah, but but it's it's uh, great that you have a new record out, a world within a world, and you can get that uh, on the various websites. You can go right to raulmidon. dot com, r a u l m i d o n. dot com. Also, it's available on Amazon, iTunes, and uh, go to myspace. dot com backslash Raul Midon, and uh, most importantly, locally, come out Friday night, October 24th at the Regina A. Quick Center for the Arts, where Raul will be performing, and uh, the showtime there is 8 o'clock, and uh, you're definitely going to see an amazing artist, and thanks again, as always, you know, love to have you, not, now, now you moved away from New York, so maybe it's tough to get you in the studio to perform live, we have bands all the time, but... You know, hopefully one day we can have you in the studio perform live. Sure. Well, you know, I'm not that far. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I, you know, as I was telling you off the air, I, I miss New York um, a lot. Uh, I also love having the space, and I love having my recording studio. I, I've just been working constantly in, in there. So it's kind of one of those things that uh, it's one of those trade-offs that, you know, yeah. I, I think when I first did it, I, I was like, "Man, I can't, I can't deal with this. I have to move back to New York right now." <laughs> but <laughs> right, 
but now I kind of I kind of see the trade off and and uh, you know hopefully I'll have a hit and then I can buy a, an apartment in New York and keep that. Yeah, up. yeah. <laughs> hey, you, that's it. That, that that's going to happen. So. so there you go. Yeah. So we're gonna get we're actually gonna go back to the album before State of Mind. Uh, we're gonna play uh, State of Mind and and thank you once again, Raul. Thank you for having me. Okay, this is Raul Midon's State of Mind right here on eighty-eight point five WVO.